Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about network marketing. And the topic is why people fail in network marketing. Now, if you are involved in network marketing, then this is a very important topic for you. And before I proceed, let me assure you that this is only my opinion. Okay, this is only my opinion, so do take it with a pinch of salt. Okay, so here we go. Why people fail in network marketing? You see, a lot of people are involved in network marketing, but those who are involved, at least 95% of them fail. That is a very high failure rate. Now, people fail because of certain reason, and also people succeed because of certain reason. So here I want to talk about why people fail in network marketing. Okay, and again, like I say, this is only my opinion. Now, the first reason is they do not set goal. Now, goal is very important. Whether you are doing network marketing or whether you are in any other business at all, all right, setting a goal is very important. Now, a lot of people do not set goal. They just do things, you know, uh, at their own fancy, without any proper direction, without any proper planning. And, you know, most of these people are going to fail. So goal is very important, all right? It is a pathway, a direction for you to go. So in network marketing, if you don't set a goal at all, then you're not going to reach your destination because you've got no destination whatsoever. So goal setting is very important. And I know that a lot of people in network marketing, they don't even have a proper goal, all right? Some of them do not know how to set goal, but some of them do not believe that uh, it is something that is good for them. All right, so they don't believe that goal setting is very important. All right, but to me, I believe that a lot of people fail because they don't set proper goal. All right, you got to set proper goal if you want to be successful in network marketing or any business whatsoever outside there. That's number one reason. Number two, network marketing is a team game. All right, it is about teamwork. And a lot of people fail because they are not team player. All right, they are not a team player. They are good working on their own, but working as a team, they fail miserably. Now, in network marketing, you be, must be a team player. All right. Now, I'm sure you realize, even in sport, when you have a team, teamwork is very important. Example, in basketball or even in soccer, you know, you got to have good teamwork. If you don't have proper teamwork, the team is going to fail. So, in network marketing, it's the same thing. All right. It is about teamwork. A lot of people don't have teamwork. They do everything on their own. You know, they they try to succeed on their own, but you cannot succeed because it's all about teamwork. All right. Ask any leader outside there. They are successful today, not because of them alone, but because of the team that they have brought with them. So teamwork is very important. Realize that, you know, work together as a team. Respect each other. Trust each other. And support each other, most of all. All right. So... Like the saying goes, you know, it's a teamwork that makes the dream work. All right. So you must be a team player. That's number two. Number three, having a proper system in network marketing is important. I've touched about this before because a lot of people in network marketing, they don't have a proper system. They come in out of excitement. They do the business. Guess what? With excitement, your business will grow. You start talking to a lot of people and so on. Now, the question I ask you is this. What happens when the excitement dies down? When they face a lot of rejection or when uh, their prospect list runs out? So what happens? When they don't have a proper system, they can be excited for a few weeks or even a few months. But after that, the excitement will dry off, will dry off without a proper system. I touched the topic on system, which is very important because people fail, but a system will not fail. So having a proper system is very important. All right. And the other thing is that if you want to have passive income, you want to generate legacy income, then you have to have a proper system. All right. You have to have a proper system. Without a proper system, most of the people are going to fail. That is why, you know, 95% of the people outside there who are involved in network marketing, they fail and they fail miserably because they don't have a proper system. Okay. This is very important. Number three, they are not willing to change. You see, people who get involved in network marketing, they come from all sorts of background, right? They all come from all sorts of background, all sorts of profession, and so on. Now, network marketing, you know, is a business whereby 
you need to be able to get used to it. All right. Now, if you are a successful businessman, all right, you are successful in business, you know about your business. But when you come to network marketing, you got to learn a different way of doing the business because network marketing is a bit different business. So you got to change. A lot of people are not willing to change. All right. That is why they fail. All right. Professionally, I'm an accountant by profession. But when I, when I came to network marketing, I got to change. I got to learn from a, 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 an educated upline, a leader that lead me who is not educated, didn't pass the exam at all. And he was proud that he didn't sit for the exam. So basically, you know, you, you got to be willing to change. All right. I was willing to change rather than, you know, being arrogant about it, having high ego about it. But I got to change and listen to somebody who is not as educated as me. All right. Change is very important. You must be willing to change. Learn to people, uh, learn from people who have got experience. All right. They might not be as successful as you or as educated as you, but they have more experience in network marketing than you, especially in the company you are with. All right. So it's important to be able to change, my friend. A lot of people are not willing to change. That is why they cannot succeed. They want to do the way they have been doing things all along. All right. Especially the people who come from the old uh, field of network marketing. All right. They've been doing network marketing the traditional way for many, many years. Okay. But today you have to change. You cannot be doing the traditional way any longer. All right. If you want to be competitive, you got to change. Today we have to use technology. You got to use uh, our social media, you got to use the internet. Change is very important. If you're not willing to change, then you're going to be stagnant. All right. So people who don't, don't succeed because they're not willing to change. That's number four. Number five, unethical attitude is very important. Now, network marketing is a professional business. It's a business of ethics. All right. You got to be ethical in what you do because whatever you do is duplicated down to your team. All right. If you are not ethical in what you do, then your team will look at you and they follow what you do. All right. And when they follow you, you know, you are just a copy machine. All right. Now, if you are a good copy, photocopy machine, if I put, you know, a, a, a piece of paper there, you know, and you come up very clear, very clean. But if I'm a lousy copy, photocopy machine, I put a nice paper, a clean paper, it come out all with lines everywhere, distorted and so on. Why? Because what you duplicate out, is from the machine. So you are like the machine as well. If you don't do things ethically, you know, the whole team are going to follow you and you know your team is not going to be strong. Well, I talk about ethics, there are many things, but one of the important things about ethics is that you know you 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 got to uh, use the rule, you know. Uh, when you want to do something, the golden rule of all you want to do something, think about it. Whether you like people to do that to you. If you don't like people to steal your downline, don't steal other people's downline. If you don't like people to steal your prospect, don't steal other people's prospect. As simple as that. All right. If you don't like it. So the golden rule is what you don't like people to do unto you. Don't do it. Don't be unethical. Some people, you know, they, they just want to move out of there. They buy a lot of stock. Inventory loading is no good. In fact, in a lot of companies out there or in countries, okay, where network marketing is being uh, uh, operated, it is illegal to have uh, inventory loading. All right, inventory loading is, is illegal. So basically, you must be ethical in what you do. Because while you can be a leader, okay, and become successful, but if you are not ethical, a lot of the people will not respect you. I'd rather be a leader, you know, who is respected by others and do things properly. Okay, so the other one of the reasons is people are not ethical. Number six, pers persistency is the key to success. Persistency is the key to success in Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill also talk about persistency. All right, you got to be persistent if you want to be successful. A lot of people, they are not persistent. You know what? They try and then they try and try a few times. And then after that, they give up. And the worst thing is that they jump to another company. And you know what? They're going to fail as well because they don't have persistence in what they do. It's not only in the network marketing program that they're involved with. They're going to fail in anything in life that they do because they don't have the persistency within them. You've got to be persistent, knowing that at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, there's going to be light. Okay, Rome was not built in a day. I know some people go faster than others, but it depends on the experience, on the knowledge and the context and so on, right? So, you know, you have to go at your own pace. 
don't compare with others because comparison sometimes make people very, very discouraged, disappointing. All right, I would suggest that you know don't compare with others. All right, you will go at your own pace because of your own experience or the amount of effort you put in as well. Important, okay? People who are not persistent, they are definitely going to fail. When I say persistency here as well, it means that you know you do the work consistently. You can persist and be with a company for many years, but if you don't take action, you're not going to succeed as well. Persistency comes with taking action as well. You can be persistent and tell people, oh, I've been with the company 10 years now. You're yeah, persistent, so what? But you don't have any achievement. What's important is persistency must also go with success. All right, as simple as that. Okay, number seven reason why people fail is sad to say they join the wrong company they join the wrong team and they're promoting the wrong kind of products that is why people fail all right i mean it's sad to say that your network marketing is a fantastic industry but sometimes people join the wrong company because they listen to others without doing their own research listening to others will make you fail you got to listen and do your own research and find out whether this is true or not all right it's very important and today with the internet you know, it's so easy to do a research, that's all. All right, find out more about it. But of course, on the internet, you've got to make your own judgment because a lot of things out there are negative, okay? So the thing is that, you know, you got to uh, uh, make sure that uh, you do a research, enjoy a good company with good products and a good team as well. That's important, all right? If you want to be successful, it goes hand in hand. A good company with good product and joining the right team, okay? That's number seven. Number eight. This is sad to say. A lot of people treat network marketing like a hobby. Now, put it this way, network marketing is a business like any other business outside there. If you want to be truly successful, you got to treat it like a business and do it like a business. If you do it like a hobby, well, sad to say, you know, you're not going to be successful. All right? You're not going to build a business big because it's just a hobby. You do it when you feel have the time. All right? When you feel like it, you do it. Hey, my friend, you put more effort and more time into your hobby than in your network marketing business. That's why when you treat your network marketing business as a hobby, you're never, never going to be successful. That's for sure. You got to treat it like a business. And with any business outside there, if you invest a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you're going to work very, very hard. So you're going to treat that network marketing is a business that you have invested a lot of money. Although I know that, you know, it doesn't cost a lot to start a network marketing business, but then you got to treat it like a business, not a hobby. All right. And a lot of people don't treat it like business because they don't have the commitment. They have the interest, but not the commitment. That's all. Oh, I want to be successful. I have the interest to become successful, but they are not committed to do whatever it takes. All right. Never treat it as a hobby. Because why? When you treat it as a hobby, you are going to end up earning hobby income. That's all. That's why a lot of people outside there, they complain network marketing, you know, they cannot earn money and so on. Well, they treat it as a hobby. So what do you expect? You are earning hobby income, that's all. All right. Number nine. A lot of people in network marketing, they focus on selling. I've touched on this topic before, all right? Now, network marketing is about selling, no doubt, right? And the most part of it is about networking. Selling, you need to have customer, that's for sure. All right. Maybe 10 to 20 lifetime customer that's all you need that's what selling is about i'm not asking you to go out there and sell to thousands of customers every single month all right you don't have the time and then you will be tired you will stress out as well okay network marketing is about building a network so what you want to do is find people like you who wants to be leader and train them and duplicate everything to them and once you duplicate to them then you can grow all right I mentioned previously, if you have got 100 people under you who are selling, you are 100, a team of 100 salespeople. A team of 100 salespeople, you wouldn't be able to build an empire. But let me tell you, honestly, if you only have three business builders, all right, who are business builders, you can build an empire. All right, so look not just for customer, but people who want to build a business. I know looking for business people are not as easy, but well, you got to keep on going until you find one, until you find two, until you find three. I always give this example, simple example, all right? Now, if it takes you one year, all right, 365 days to find one good people, one good person, 
365 days. If you keep on doing, you'll find one, right? In three years, you'll find three. Will that be good? Yeah. But the problem is that in one year, people hardly recruit people. That's why when when the time comes three years, you don't even have three. Yeah, remember that. And another example I can give you is that in a deck of cards, there are 52 cards, right? 52 cards. You want four aces, right? You want four aces because there are only four aces in the deck of cards. Okay, you take out the first card. It is not an ace. You take out the second card, not an ace. But if you keep on going at the end of the 52 cards, would you find four aces? Yes. When you find those four aces, you have already built an empire. You can be successful, my friend. So think about it that way. Don't overcomplicate things. Okay? Don't focus just on selling. All right? I know of people you know, in health product. They even go to hospital looking for sick people. Hey, my friend, you are hardworking. No doubt about that. You are hardworking. But the thing is that, think about it logically. You go to the hospital looking for sick people. The first thing, what are the impression people look at you? You are a salesperson looking for sick people. Right? People get... You know, get shocked, get frightened. They stay away from you because you are a salesperson. You go to hospital looking for sick people. Okay, no doubt. You're hardworking, but you're doing, approaching it the wrong way. Okay? Now, the other thing is that, you know, when you look for sick people, are they going to be business builder? I told you, you need to find three or four business people, right? Sick people are not going to build a business. They want to get rid of the health challenges. That's it. They might reckon, recommend you a few customers, that's all, but you are not going to build an empire by just having sick people. So remember this, all right? I know a lot of people, they, because it's easier to look for sick people. Okay? They print a lot of brochure, you know? They print a lot of brochure, they distribute the brochure everywhere, uh, talking about the product, how it can help, uh, uh, you know, heal this problem, that problem. Hey, my friend, that is not the way to do it. And the most important thing, you know, if you do that, you know, uh, the government department is going to come after you. The health ministry is going to come after you as well because you're not allowed to do all these things. All right? Number nine, focusing on selling. Remember? Focus on looking for business builder. Number 10, and the last one, all right? It is all about ego. A lot of people, they don't understand about network marketing. They have very high ego. Yes, they have high ego. When people talk to them, you know, they think that network marketing is something that is... Uh, uh, for the, the housewife, right? So ego, get rid of the ego if you want to be successful, especially men, you know. Ladies are not so bad, but men, they have a lot of ego. I personally also had ego previously because I was an accountant by profession, had own, my own accounting practice. And when people ask me, hey, I heard you're doing network marketing, you know what I told them? I'm not doing, I'm helping my wife to do it. Why? Ego. But today you ask me, are you doing network marketing? I said, yes, I'm doing network marketing. We are working together with my wife, not helping my wife. I'm working together hand in hand with her. That's the, you see, with that mindset, then only then you can be successful. Because if you have ego, you'll be scared to talk to people. And what you think about, you're going to bring about. Remember the law of attraction? All right. When you fear talking to people about your business, you're not going to be successful. Because what you think about or what you fear about, what you fear about is going to manifest into your life, my friend. Okay, I hope that this short sharing will help you to understand why people fail in network marketing. And if you're one of those people in the 95% category, then it's high time to change. All right. And again, I say this is only my opinion. Let me summarize for you what I spoke about, why people fail in network marketing. Number one, they don't have goals. Number two, they're not team player. Number three, they don't have a proper system. Number four, they're not willing to change. Number five, Unethical, they are unethical, unethical. Number six, they are not persistent. Number seven, they join the wrong company with the wrong products and with the wrong team. Number eight, they treat the business like a hobby. All right. Number nine, they focus on selling. And lastly, number 10, they have ego. Okay. I hope that you learned something from this sharing of mine. Remember again, this is only my opinion. All right. Take it with a pinch of salt. I thank you for your time that you spent with me. Uh, today, all right, and uh, if you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate that you spend your time with me here. I'll see you again for another of my live video on Monday. This is Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.